Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to a sci-fi build tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be fulfilling a request made by one of you, the viewers. As today, I've had a request to make the SC Hawk by Snowy on YouTube. Thank you very much, fella. Now, as always, before we get into the tutorial, these are the materials you're going to need to do this build. And as always, you can find a comprehensive list of all of the items down in the description below. So, let's get to it, shall we? Now, before you begin making the SC Hawk, you're going to want to make sure you've got enough space for it. So you're going to need 19 across like this and about 25 deep going back like that. And the very first thing you want to do once you've done that is find the 15th place marker because this is where we're going to start our actual main part of our build. So let's get to that. So around here, we want to go one, two, three, up like this. And then on top of that, we want to put in a block like that. And then on the top of that, another block. So we have two of our polished deep slate and then an upside down red sandstone stair like that and the same on this side and then on the top polished deep state stairs like this and that is the central point of our SC Hawk. So from this central point we're going to start moving down towards the front towards our cockpit so to do that we're going to put in a block in front of this block like this and then we're going to put another upside down red sandstone stair there and there like that and then on the top we're going to put in two more of our stairs and then here on this block here we want to put in a deep state slab and on the top another one like that so we've got this tiny little gap in here and then off the side of these stairs stone brick slab there stone brick slab there and then underneath we want to put in an iron trap door there an iron trap door there and then under the stairs do the same so one there and one there now for the next layer, rather than doing our polished deep state block, we're going to put in a polished andesite block there like this. And then some stone brick stairs there and there. Then some stone bricks on top of those. Stone brick slab either side like this. And then coming off of our polished deep state slab, we're going to put in a stone brick slab like that. And then underneath our slabs, you want to put in two more of our iron trap doors and then underneath coming from this block you want to put in a polished deep slate stair going down facing the front of the ship and then put in two iron trap doors here and here that's where our wings are going to go later on okay now on the next layer we're going to start bulking out so we want to put in a block here and a block here like this and then a block on either side like that so we end up with a two by three on underneath this we want to put in a polished deep slate slab there like that and then on the top of these we want to put in one of our polished andesite blocks like that and then one either side like this now coming underneath that new block we want to put in a stone brick slab uh, there and there and then on the top there like that now, coming off from the upper part of this block here, we want to put in iron trap door and another iron trap door. And again, that's where our wings are going to go later on. And that is that layer done. Okay, continuing to bulk out, we want to grab some of our blocks of quartz and we want to put in a block here and here and here. So we end up with a three running across the top. And then we want to put in a stair either side of that. So one there and one there. And then underneath, we want to get in an upside down stair facing the front. So go underneath and put one there like that. And then come around to this side and put one in like that. There we go. Now, on the inside of this, we want to put in a slab there and a slab there. And then underneath those slabs, we want to put in two more of our polished andesite blocks one in the middle and then a polished andesite stair facing outwards and one on this side and then coming off of that we want to put in another one of our iron trap doors like that 
Next up, underneath, you want to put in a polished deep plate slab and then an acacia trapdoor facing back like this. Now, moving on to the main part of our cockpit. So we want to grab our polished andesite and put those there and one in the middle like this. Underneath, a polished deep slate block like this. And then either side of that, two polished andesite slabs. One block there and one block there. There we go. So we get this nice little bowing shape underneath. And then on top of this block here, we want to put in a block of quartz. Same on this side and then a slab. And then coming from that slab, we just want to put in three pieces of glass. And then on the top of that glass, three acacia trapdoors like that. Now to continue our cockpit, we want to use our polished andesite. Put in three growing graphos there and then one on either side. We end up with a five. Underneath, we want to use some of our polished deep state blocks. So we want to put in one like this and then put in a temporary piece of scaffold here. And on the upper part of that scaffold, just put in another polished deep state slab. On the very ends, we want to put in a polished andesite slab like this and then connecting up to it, a polished andesite stair. There we go. Now the bottom part's done, we just want to do the upper part. So we want to put in a block of quartz there and a block of quartz there and then put a temporary piece in here like this. And then using that as a point of anchor, we're going to put in three of our glass across there, remove our anchor point, and then three of our acacia trapdoors on top. And that is that layer done. Now the next layer of our cockpit is pretty much the same. So we want to use our polished andesite and put in a five going across here like this. And then underneath, do exactly the same as what we did before. So we want to put in our deep slate slabs here. So another temporary block. And again, on the upper piece, remove that temporary block. On the ends, polished andesite slab. And then our stairs here facing outwards. Now the upper part is where it starts to change. So rather than it being a full block, we're going to use a slab and another slab there like this. And then coming up, just put in our glass like that and leave this bit empty so we can get inside of our machine. But before we do that, put in a temporary block like that so we can put our acacia trap doors on. So come up to the top. One, two, three. And now remove. There we go. And that is that layer done. Now for the next layer, we want to use our polished andesite. Put three in across like we have done for the previous two layers, but rather than on the ends using more, we're going to put in a polished deep slate slab double like this. And then on top of that, our quartz slabs. And then coming underneath, we're going to put in a full block and then either side of that, some slabs. Now the glass is very much the same as before, so we want to go up like this, but now we can fill that section in. So we get this nice little end shape out of glass and then only put an acacia trap door on the middle one like that. And that is that layer done. Now we're fastly approaching the front of our cockpit. So we want to put in a polished andesite there, there and there. And then on this side there and there. So we get this five. And then underneath we want to do the same as we've done on the layer previous to this one. So we want to put in polished deep state like this. A temporary block, another slab, move that, and then put in slab, slab, and then stair and stair like this. And then on top, we want to put in a block of quartz here, block of quartz here, and then put in a temporary block there, and then put in three of our glass pieces like this, and remove our temporary block. And that is that part done. So moving on to the nose of the hawk, we want to put in one, two, three, four, five of our polished andesite, the same as we did on our previous layer. And the underneath is exactly the same again. So polished deep slate like this, and then another one of our temporary blocks, polished deep slate slab there, and then polished andesite on either end, and then our stairs facing out like this. On top of those, you want to put in your block of quartz either side. 
and then put in a temporary block here. Coming on the lower part of that temporary block, we just want to put in three of our quartz slabs, and that is that part done. So now we need to start angling the nose down to come to a point, and to do that, all we need to do is grab our polished andesite, put in five going across there like this, and then underneath, we just want to put in a double of our polished deep slate slabs. Either side, polished andesite slab like this, and then on top of these ends, we want to put in a quartz stair, there and there, three blocks, and then on top of that, we're just going to put in an iron trapdoor so we get a little bit of a bow on the front of our ship. So coming off of that, we now want to put in a polished andesite slab there, polished andesite slab there, and then three blocks, one, two, three, underneath, polished deep state slab, so we now have this little staring effect. And then on the top, two more of our quartz slabs and a stair in the middle like that. Now to finish off the nose for our hawk, all we have to do is put in a polished deep state here, like this, and then either side on the upper part, polished andesite slabs, and then on the top, another polished andesite slab, and then put another polished andesite slab right on the front there like that. Okay, now that the front of our ship is done, we need to start doing the back. So we're going to come around to our initial blocks that we put down, put in a polished deep stair like this, and then coming off of that, we're going to put in our smooth red sandstone stairs. And then on the top, polished deep state stairs. And then we're going to put in a polished deep state slab like that. And then coming off of this, we're going to put in smooth red sandstone there and there. And then the same this side, so one there one there and now we're gonna have to put in some more temporary blocks so grab your blocks and go one two three up like this and then grab your stair and put in an upside down stair like that move those temporary blocks and then up here we want to put in another temporary block there and put in a slab in our red sandstone there now for the next layer, what we're going to do is put in two more of our red sandstone blocks. So there, 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 and there. And then on the top, put a slab and then a slab in the middle. And then do the same across here like that. And that gives us a little bit as we're bowing out for the tail of the hawk. So repeat exactly the same thing again. So one, two, three, four slabs along the top block in the middle but now this time we're going to put in a stair there and a stair there to get this tapered effect and then on the upper part of the lower two we're going to put in a polished andesite slab either side like that and that's going to go to our tail later on. Now the next layer is very much the same as what it was like before so we're going to put in a block there and there there and there and then slabs on the top like this but rather than putting a slab on the upper part in the middle, we're going to do a slab there. So we get this little drop down. And then underneath, we're going to put a slab and another slab and then a full block in the middle like that. Coming off of this andesite slab, we're going to put in another one there with a stair on the top facing inwards. And the same on this side. And that is that layer done. Okay, now we're coming up to the back of our ship. We want to start doing our exhaust. So to do that, we're going to put in an upside down red sandstone stair like this. And then underneath that, we're going to put in a double of our stone brick slabs. And then underneath that, a smooth red sandstone block like this. Now coming off of this, we're going to want to start putting in some of our polished andesite stairs. So looking down on an angle, we want to put one there and one there like that and now make a little circle shape with those blocks so put one there one there and one there and the same around this side so one there there and there and that is that layer done now for the next layer we're going to continue that little circle shape that we made but now we're going to be using our polished deep state stairs so put one there and one there and then one there and one there and the same on this side so one there one there one there and one there 
And then for the centerpiece, we're going to put in a upside down stair. Underneath that, we're going to put in a full block. And then we're going to put in another upside down stair. And that is that layer done. Okay, for the next layer, we want to start actually doing our exhaust. So on the centerpiece, we want to put in an upside down stair there. And one directly underneath to get this thinning effect. And then coming off of that, we're going to use some polished deep state blocks. And we're going to put one to either side and then just make that a two by two like this now that that's done all you have to do is surround that with some acacia trap doors so go ahead and just put those all the way around and there we go now to do the next part we're going to have to put in some temporary blocks again so use our trusted scaffolding and go up like this uh, one more there we go and the same on this side and then one more piece of scaffolding going up through the center like this now that we have our three scaffolding pieces we can start putting our trapdoors to them so one there and one there one there and one there and then just close those and then do the same on this side. So one and two, three and four, and then close those down. And then on the very tops of those, we want to put in one there and one there. And the same here. So one there and one there. Oh, one there. And then underneath, do the same again. So one piece there, one piece there, and then here, one piece there and one piece there and that is the back of the sc hawk done so we now have the whole main part of our body next all we have to do is do our wings and our tail so let's get to doing that shall we okay so to do our wing we're going to start off on these iron trap doors here that we put in earlier on and we're going to put another one there there and there so we get this little l shape attaching up to the main pile of our body and then coming off of these two iron trap doors we're going to put in a polished deep slate block there and there and then we're going to use that to make the main part of our engine so put one on the front and then two three going back like that and then on the end we're going to put in a stair there and a stair there like that now counting in from the stair we want to go one two three in and put in a iron bar there and then coming straight off of this stair on the full block we want to put in a glass there behind the glass we're going to put in a stream light leave an air gap then another stream light there put in two of our polished deep slate on the stream light then start putting this section in so one coming off of the iron bars and then two going back like this and then put stairs on them either end like that and that gives us this little tapering effect as it's going backwards so it gives, makes it look a little bit more streamlined now we really need to close this engine off so we're going to put in a temporary block here like this and one on the top and then coming off of that temporary block we're going to put in a row of polished deep state slabs and then we're going to close it off on the top as well. So we're going to put in a, another of our polished deep state slab there, there, and then move this all the way back like that. And that gives us the main part of our engine, but it doesn't quite look attached on this end. So we're going to use our iron trap doors and just put a row of four in there. And then coming off of that one, two and three, get this nice little shape as it's bowing out and up. Okay, now on this side of the engine, one block in from where the stair is, we want to put in a row of three iron trap doors like this, and then two like that coming off. So we get this nice little Tetris shape with a little extra piece on the end. On one bit lower down than that, we want to put in one piece there, one there, and one there. So we've got a three, and then do three coming off of that like this. We get this little shape of the wing coming in. And that is how to do the SC Hawks wing. So just repeat exactly the same as what we did here on the other side.
And there we go. Now, because this is the Hawk Mark II, we also have two little tail bits to put in. So we're going to put in a block here like this and the same on the other side. One there. And then coming off of that, we want to go underneath. So one here, one here and one here like that. So it goes forwards. Same on this side. So one here, one here and one here. And then using our polished deep state, we're just going to put in a block there and a block there. So we get a little two by two and the same on this side. So we want to put in block, block, block and another block like that. And then on top of that, we're just going to put in two of our smooth red sandstone like this. Do the same this side. And then on the very top of that, we're going to put in one like this of our smooth andesite. And then behind that, we're just going to put in three pieces of our polished andesite slabs. Now to finish off our tail, we're just going to put in a little polished deep state slab there and the same on this side. And then attached to these, we're just going to put in two of our banners like this. And the same on this side. And that is the SC Hawk Mark II completed. Now, of course, you can do upgrades to the SC Hawk Mark II as well. So here I have finished off with some guns. And to do that, all I've done is put in some rigging using iron bars on the side, some iron trap doors, some deep slate walls, and then I've just used some fence gates to attach to that. And then we have a lightning rod and some end rods. And then this one has a custom head, which I will leave a link for down in the description below. And that's it. That is how to make the SC Hawk Mark II. One of the great things about the Hawk is it's extremely versatile and you can add many new attachments to it. So if you do manage to make your own version of the SC Hawk, don't forget to leave a link to it down in the description below or join the Random Fandom Discord and show me on there. A link to join my Discord will be in the description below. And if you did find this tutorial extremely helpful, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing because that helps me out a ton. And if you're wanting to see more beautiful sci-fi tutorials, just like this one, there will be a link on a card right on the screen now that will take you to a playlist filled with sci-fi goodness. Okay, get out of here, you crazy sci-fi nuts. Enigma, out. <laughs>